Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 2nd of 2020. Well, it is titled half sun with prominence. So what do we see here? Well, here we see just a portion of the sun, not because it's being eclipsed by the moon, which is often a reason we see just part of the moon or part of the sun. But in this case, it is being blocked out by clouds, which is a relatively common occurrence here on Earth. Uh, clouds cover a good good percentage of the Earth's surface. So at any given time, uh, the sun is being blocked. And of course, here we're catching it just on the in between where we actually see a portion of the sun up above, and the lower portion of the sun being blocked out by the clouds. Now on the upper right hand side of the sun, we see what is known as a prominence. A prominence is material being lifted off the surface of the sun by the magnetic field. So when the magnetic field pops out through the sun as it gets all twisted and tangled as the sun rotates, it is able to lift material off the sun, which tells us a couple of things. It tells us about the strength of the magnetic field able to lift this material. But it also tells us how weak gravity is for even a large object like the sun, the magnetic field and magnetic force can be much stronger and can easily lift material away from the surface of the sun. And in fact, the magnetic field can do more than that and a prominence we just lift it up gently and it kind of falls back down. But in solar flares, the material can actually be ripped off the surface of the sun and escape out into space. So that kind of tells us that gravity while we see it as being very strong because it is the force we're most familiar with is actually the weakest of the four forces of nature. Now right now when we look at the sun here in this image we see that it's very calm. There's not a lot of sunspot activity or other activity other than the one prominence in the upper right hand side. So the sun is very close to solar minimum now. And in fact, we think it's just come out of solar minimum and is starting to get more active. So over the coming years, we should begin to see more and more prominences, flares and sunspots over the surface of the sun as we approach the maximum in about another five years or so. As as more and more the sun will start to become more active. So we can look forward to pictures like those and of things like the aurora, which will be much more common as the sun is active and sending more material out into space. So that was our picture of the day for November the 2nd of 2020. It was titled half sun with prominence. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be waves of gravity. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.